What do you do if sex becomes really one-sided? I'm Sheila from To Love, Honor, and Vacuum, and I'm here with another Ask Sheila video. This question comes from a really frustrated woman. She says, my husband wants it every day, like 350 days a year is what I can honestly say. I am just a vessel, like a cigarette butt container outside a door. I know he needs it. I know that he's wired differently than me, and I don't say no unless I fall asleep when I'm sick or something, but I'm just so tired. I want to feel loved, but I'm so busy making sure everyone else's needs are met. I'm not even good at having sex anymore. I just make sure there's lube ready when I'm ready for bed because that's when I know he'll want it. It isn't fulfilling. I've been to counseling. I asked him to go to counseling, but he would not go back because he said the woman didn't know him and implied that he had a sex addiction. Maybe he does. He loves the verse about how my body isn't mine, but he never gets to the end of that verse. I'm trying, I'm praying, but how do I become a better wife? How do I enjoy sex? What do I do when he gets so mad if he doesn't get sex every day? Honey, you are not supposed to be a receptacle. This is just a terrible, heartbreaking letter. Okay, you gotta picture this poor woman. So it's evening and she's lying there in bed with the lube handy because she needs the lube because he isn't even making sure that she's ready. Like he literally is just using her as a receptacle. I love the phrase that Leslie Vernick said uh, in her book, The Emotionally Destructive Relationship. She said, a wife is a person to love, not a body to use. And he is treating her like she is a body to use. And yet somehow she thinks that that is valid because she is saying, I know that he has needs that I don't have. And I know that I'm supposed to do this and all this. No. Okay. No, we got to get away from this. That is not having sex. The whole problem with this letter and with ideas like this is that we've confused Man puts penis into woman's vagina and moves around until he climaxes with having sex, okay? Man puts penis into woman's vagina is intercourse. We are not required to just have intercourse, okay? What we are, what, what, what the Bible calls us to, what, what marriage calls us to is to have a sexual relationship and we need to redefine what sex is. Sex is not just a man putting his penis into his wife's vagina so that he can reach climax. And I'm sorry for being so blunt, but I think sometimes it's necessary, okay? Sex should be about two people loving each other and knowing each other and having fun together and being intimate. And that's the key. It's two people. If a guy gets angry, if you don't have let him have sex every day, by, what, by which I mean let him use your body and use you like a sex toy or a masturbatory tool so that he can climax, if he gets angry, if you don't let him do that, that is a huge red flag in your marriage. And yes, this guy probably does have a sex addiction, but we need to go back to first principles. He needs to understand this is not the proper way to treat his wife. He is wrong and he is missing out on so much about what sex is supposed to be like. So ladies, if your husband is doing this to you, if he is telling you that you have to let him have sex, let him use you like this with no thoughts of, of how you're feeling or whether or not you want to or anything like that, you need to start drawing some boundaries and say something like, honey, I would love to make love to you. I would love to have a full and fulfilling sex life with you. This is a big dream that I have, but I am no longer willing to be treated like a sex object. And I will no longer be doing that. When you are ready to talk to me and to work with me on how we can make sex a mutual thing and how it can be something that's about loving each other and making each other feel good, I will jump in with both feet. <laughs> But it has to be about both of us. It can't be about something which makes me feel degraded and like you don't really love me because that's what's going on here. If he treats her like this, she's going to increasingly feel like he doesn't even see me like a person. I am literally a cigarette butt receptacle. Okay, that is not a marriage and we do not have to say yes to that. In fact, the more that we say yes to that, the more we guarantee that our marriage is going to get more and more distant because we're going to build up such resentment. And that resentment 
is logical because you're being treated horribly. Sex is not supposed to be a one-sided thing, and I'm going to put some links um, in the in the blog post that is linked in the description on YouTube and in other places. I'm going to put some links to some posts that talk about the theology of all this. Now, sex is supposed to be mutual, and if you don't understand that, then I really encourage you, you know, to check out the Good Girl's Guide to Great Sex, which talks about how God made sex to be far more than just physical. Or if you want something to talk to your husband about, take a look at their. 31 days to great sex. It's a great exercise that you do with him um, and each exercise builds on each other so that you build a sex life which is for both of you, which is more than just physical. Okay, now that being said, I want to talk to another group of people here because it isn't just men who see sex as one-sided. Often women buy into this too and it makes their husbands really frustrated. I have had two comments on the blog this week that really illustrate this. Um, one was from a guy, and I talked about this in my podcast. Um, I do have a podcast, please. Everybody needs to subscribe and listen to it on iTunes or wherever. Uh, it's super easy, and they're really fun to, to make, and you'll hear more of my personality. But anyway... The guy was saying that he would love to make his wife feel good. He would love to bring her to orgasm. He would love to do all of those things. But she keeps saying, no, 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 I don't need it. I'm fine with just you feeling good. And so he feels empty. Ladies, when we grow up thinking that sex is just for him, then we can feel proud of ourselves. We can feel like, yay, I'm doing such a good job because I'm letting him have sex several times a week or whatever it might be. But that's not what your husband really wants. Most men, if they're good men, not this letter writer's husband, okay? But, but most men, if they are good men, want far more than just to use you. They actually want you to be involved in this. They want you to get something out of it. They want to feel like you guys are experiencing something together. And that means that you need to become vulnerable. You need to let him make you feel good. Um, here's a comment that was left just last night by a woman. Uh, she says, I think it's simple. God made orgasms for men, and a wife's duty is to make your spouse orgasm with your full participation. Women don't even need orgasms to conceive, and so they aren't relevant for us. I focus solely on my husband's fulfillment, and God has blessed us profoundly. Oh, sweetie. That's just so wrong. <laughs> okay, a minor thing. Um, the way that God made orgasms to work for women, conception's actually easier because your hips tilt up, uh, he can go in deeper, like all that stuff. So that's, that's, that's not actually true. But beyond that, let's just think about this for a minute. She's talking about the physical, how our bodies show that women's orgasms aren't necessary since they're not necessary for conception. But if you look just at the body, you'll notice something. God gave women a body part where the only focus, the only purpose is her pleasure and her orgasm. So to say that orgasms for women are not important, that they're irrelevant, is to say that God made a mistake when he made women's bodies. And that is so not true. Okay, ladies, God made sex to be for you too. So don't be like this woman who's saying, my pleasure doesn't matter. Because I wonder if her husband is actually wanting her to be involved in it. He wants her to be passionate. Most men say that what they really want is just for their wives to want sex too. Not just want to please their husband, but want sex. Um, and so if you've never figured that out yet, if you haven't experienced, you know, the big O, or if sex just doesn't feel that great, make it the most fun research project you will do together, okay? But sex is not meant to be one-sided. It isn't just for him. It isn't just about his needs. It's about your relationship together. We need to change the whole way we see sex. It isn't just intercourse. It's a mutual sexual relationship. And when we get back to that, marriage is so much better. So please stick around, find me at tolovehonoringvacuum.com, listen to the podcast, try the 31 Days to Great Sex Challenge, it really is awesome, and join me later on for some more Ask Sheila videos.